Good morning, happy Sabbath. Welcome to Cubs Corner. Auntie M, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you, Uncle Joe? I'm doing very, very well. Good. And as you guys, we've been doing this for a while now. We're just so happy that you've come and you've joined us again for another, uh, I guess, episode of Cubs Corner. And we're, of course, as always, we're going to start off with some songs, all right? So for our first songs, I think we're all going to have to stand up and we're going to sing Father Abraham. Woohoo! All right, ready? Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord right on. Father Abraham had many sons, many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. I love that. I love that. 
And then for our last song, we're gonna do what is it? Inside, outside, happy all the time. Are you guys happy all the time? I'm happy all the time. How about you, Auntie? I'm happy all the time. All oh, right. Yeah. I try to be. Well, happy I try to be. I, I try to be. I, I, I know definitely I do. <laughs> so let, let's do that. We'll go very slow to begin. I'm inside out, right out, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in, I gave my heart to Him. Good, good. I'm in right out, right, right up, right, right down, right happy all the time. I'm in right out, right up, right, 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 right down, right happy all the time. Since Jesus Christ came in, I gave my heart to you. It's hard, right? I'm Okay. I'm in right out, right up, right down, right happy all the time. I'm So before we get into our demonstration for today, I want to read our verse, which Auntie M is going to be talking about and going into a little bit more detail today. And it's found in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. So if you guys want to go there, and it goes like this. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Let us pray. Dear Holy Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, because you let us be here together on Sabbath doing another episode of Cubs Corner. Lord, I just ask that you keep on guiding us and blessing us through this time, and that through everything we see, Lord, we can see your light and see you always. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, Cubs. Welcome to Cubs Corner. We are going to begin on our illustration today for our worship thought. And today our thought is going to include energy. We're going to be making a spiritual lesson about energy and I'd like you to be thinking about what that spiritual lesson might be. Uncle Joe is going to be also wrapping this up with his own thoughts about how to connect what this experiment does with our own spiritual life. What you see here are two batteries. They are taped together. We have a piece of foil that's been folded several times to make a thin strip and we have a small light bulb at the end. Before I go any further, let me remind you that if you think this is an experiment that you'd like to try to do at home, you need to have a parent who is with you the whole time who's supervising. All right, don't do this at home alone because this does involve a little bit of heat as you're going to see. Okay, so what we have here is we have a battery, and this battery is full of potential. It's full of potential energy. It's not giving off anything right now because it's not properly connected and hooked up, but it has the potential to run a clock, to help a flashlight shine light, all kinds of things. What it needs is it needs a connection, so that's what I'm going to do with this foil. I'm going to connect to the bottom of the foil to touch the bottom of this battery. And then I'm going to take the light bulb, which the foil is wrapped around the base, but the very bottom is open. And I'm gonna touch the bottom of the light bulb with the battery and it should create heat. 
Yes, the way it creates heat is the electrons are creating electrical current, which is flowing from the battery through the wire to the base of this light bulb. It's traveling to the filament, which is that tiny piece of wire that's heating up and glowing because it's burning. And that is what's creating its light. We have a source of energy, which is the battery, and then the light bulb is connected through this wire to create light. Now, that's not just the only part of our journey here today. What I'd like to do is I'd like to do a little experiment because some objects or some material allow electricity to flow through it so that even if I put it between the battery and the light bulb, the light bulb will still shine. Other materials do not let electricity flow through it. So if I were to put it between, there would be no light. So let's try this out and let's see what that might be. Let's start with this baggie. If I were to take this baggie and wrap it over the top of this battery, all right, like that, and then I try to connect everything again, so I put the wire at the bottom, and I take the light bulb and I put it on the top. Hmm, is there light? There's no light. So that means that this plastic bag does not let electricity flow. That means it's an insulator. It does not let electricity flow. Let's try something else. How about a fork? So I'm going to connect my battery. I'm gonna put the battery on one side of the fork and the light bulb on the other and let's see. Will it, hmm, oh no, I guess it doesn't. Oh, sometimes it happens in an experiment. It doesn't quite turn out the way you think it's going to. All right, let's try a pair of scissors. All right, so now we're going to try with this pair of scissors that I've put here. Is a pair of scissors a conductor? Does it allow electricity to flow through? It does. So a pair of scissors are a conductor. We'll try one more item. How about a piece of paper? So once again, we're going to connect everything and touch. No, no light. So that means a piece of paper is an insulator does not allow electricity to flow. What is the spiritual lesson that you can take away from this lesson on energy, conductors, and insulators? Think about it. Auntie M, thank you very much for that demonstration. And I've been thinking about the challenge which you brought to me. And you know, it was so much information you were throwing at me. You know, you're giving me scissors, and then a light bulb, and then aluminum foil, and then battery. I was like, man, how did this all come together? But thank you, because now I understand. And as I was thinking about this, I know the one thing that I thought about, okay, I think the battery has to do, is, is God in a way, right? Because it, it's the energy, you know, he gives us the energy to keep on moving forward. And then we see it with the, with the conductor, you know, the aluminum foil. And eventually I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I think that we might be the light. Because when you when you use the battery, right, and you bring connect it to the aluminum foil, and then all of a sudden there's light, we're able to do God's will that way, you know, that He's using the, the aluminum foil as the, as a way for us to be able to connect with Him. And then we see the insulators as well, like the piece of paper, um, for example. And we see that, you know, I started thinking, I'm like, I think the piece of paper represents how many times we let things get in the way of our lives with our connection with Him, and when we those insulators, you know, are part of that connection, then all of a sudden we don't have that connection with God. We can no longer be the light that he wants us to be. So I think that the biggest thing for me is that we have to remember to put uh, conductors in our lives, people that can help us shine bright and also do things in our lives as well that will help us shine bright with him and, and build that closer relationship with him. And Auntie, I'm just so grateful for that demonstration because it taught me a lot when it comes to, okay, I need to not put insulators in my life, but rather have conductors. 
So thank you very much. We thank you guys for coming to Cubs Corner. We know we're not doing it together. We had to do it a little bit different this week as we pre-recorded. But we're just so happy you joined us once again. And let us just end with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this Sabbath. And Lord, I just ask that you uh, to help all our little Cubs out there, Lord, just have a bunch of conductors in their lives so that they can shine bright for you, Lord. We're so grateful for you. And we ask that you always keep on blessing us throughout this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.